Last year, when I was an actual tutor, a kid I was tutoring brought in a fancy graphing calculator. Me, being a maths nerd, instantly got jealous of this kid because I never had a chance to own one of these myself. But now that I was a big boy earning a whopping £6.67 an hour tutoring kids, I could now buy one of these without having to ask mommy. But when I went on Amazon to look for a graphing calculator, I quickly realised why my parents never bought me one. I would have to work 17 hours just to pay for one of these in my old tutoring job. But then I asked myself, what benefit would this actually give me? Level one, maths teacher. After all, if I wanted to show a kid I was tutoring a graph, I could just open up desmos.com for free and type it into the equation editor and see it instantly. At this level, you know how to add equations into the equation editor and how to add sliders so you can show a range of different equations. But you're still not yet aware of the true power of Desmos. Level two, math student. Funnily enough, most students know how to use Desmos better than the teachers because it sometimes helps with cheating on maths homework. So when the homework asks you to plot an equation, you just type it into Desmos and then copy down whatever it looks like on the screen. You can also plot polar equations and parametric equations in the same way, and you might also know how to use the statistical distributions for when you have the dreaded stats homework. Level three, bored math student. I made a pie chart of all the people who use Desmos and 90% of it is just math students who are playing around with it when they're bored doing homework. You know that Desmos can be used for a range of mathematical plots including building functions, finding derivatives and integrals of said functions, making movable sliders, adding polygons, creating lists and sums and tables, you can even do statistics with it. Not that we ever would, of course. Level four, very bored math student. If you're on this level, I feel sorry for you because that means that you have a maths teacher that is so boring that you spend more time playing with Desmos than listening to them. At this level, you'll learn that Desmos has kind of got its own programming language because there are key words like for or with that you can use to perform operations on multiple pieces of data at the same time. And you can also create custom colors and sounds which you can use according to any function. You may even have a Desmos account with a couple of projects saved for any time where you're sitting in maths and your teacher is rambling on about quadratics or something. Level five, Desmos enthusiast. You most likely spend your free time playing around with Desmos because maybe your dad hit you as a child or maybe you just have mental problems. Either way, you've clicked all the little question marks in the function menu of the keyboard in Desmos and you know that there's a secret setting that allows you to enable something called actions, which allows you to make a point or region clickable so when you click it, it changes a variable. It also allows you to create something called a ticker to run an action repeatedly after every given time interval. You might even be able to make simple games or moving animations using these actions. Level six, Desmos competitor. You now compete in the yearly Desmos art contest, which means you spend an extraordinary amount of time creating pretty pictures on an online graphing calculator. Honestly, I don't know how you managed to create all of this given that we only have 24 hours in a day. So I'll just assume that you're either a really intelligent child or a really unproductive adult. In the business, we call this an autistic obsession. Level seven, Chinese Desmos competitor. You can plot graphs which blow people away, expressing the true beauty and elegance of mathematics. You not only compete in the Desmos art contests, but you regularly win them. You're probably extremely good at mathematics, which means there's a 90% chance that you're Chinese. Your name is Something Wong because that's what your mother said when you were born. But your nickname is Holy Fook because that's what your father says every time he sees the Desmos project you've been working on on your laptop. If I gave you permanent brain damage, I'd be doing you a favor because honestly, you're too smart for your own good. So make sure you click this video if you want permanent brain damage or join the join the joint join the but just join okay join the channel all right piss off